Now we're going to remove the plungers from the plunger housings. You'll notice on this because it's a single actuator, both the adjusters are on one plunger. That's so that as the actuator pushes on the wedge, it pushes the plungers out and because uh, there's only one side being actuated, we need to have both adjusters on it. So both anchor pins will be on the opposite one. Dealing with a heavy duty with two air chambers, then what you'll do is you'll have an adjuster on one of the plungers housings and a solid one on the other end. That's the design of that is so that uh, both adjust out. Also, you'll have the adjuster end on the end that takes the, the least amount of force. When you deal with a double actuator, as the shoe rotates, it comes out into the drum and it wedges. That's called a self-energizing action. So we want to put the side that has the most force from the wedging action to the solid plunger if we're using double actuating. This is a single actuating so we'll put the plungers on both sides. Again, the easy way to uh, get it back together correctly is to do one side at a time so that you have a reference on the opposite side and also use the manuals. So we'll take off the, these are uh, guide, plunger guide pins to keep the plungers from turning. They have uh, brass uh, seals on them. We'll just take off the seals. Very important that we check the seals to make sure that they're in good shape. There's the uh, solid plunger for this side. Solid plunger for that side. And then we'll take our adjusters out. The adjusters use a pawl system. This pawl, these pawl teeth will ratchet in one direction and lock in the other. The design of them allows them to ratchet one way but lock in the other. And the reason for that is that they go into the adjuster. The adjuster is threaded into the top of the uh, adjuster plunger. As this pawl goes over top, as the, as the shoe, as the plunger moves out and the shoes move out to break, this will ratchet over in one direction, but as it returns, it locks and it causes the whole assembly to rotate. Very small amount each time, but enough to keep the shoes close, close to the drums and uh, adjust it up properly. Our, you'll see on the adjusters, they fit into their own sleeves. Notice the taper on the plungers. And then these guides or pawls fit in here. We want to make sure that these are well lubricated uh, so that uh, they're not going to seize up. That's one of the big problems with these brakes is that people inspect them but they don't take them apart, lubricate, and clean them.